Hi everybody, we're landing on, oh my goodness, Akua for another multiplayer. Look at all of these bad evil bases and crash titans and drones. We are turning around and um, we are going to go try and hide behind this hillside and hope that this is far enough away. But wow, there's a lot of settlements out in front of us. Um, give me one second and we'll talk about this stuff. I am my way in. I see where you've landed. I'm just trying to take a quick look around here. Wow, there's a big lake. Cool. Hmm, quite a few buildings. That looked like a part of the destroyed, um, the wrecked ship y that was in yeah, front of us. Yeah, yeah, really does. And then, uh... I sure what that other one there, there is. Residences, and then there looked there looked like it was a um, a base, not a friendly base, but a base further on beyond the oh. residences. It'd be an exciting start to our galactic venture here. Lots of loot potential. So yeah, I pulled back here, catching up with you now. Yeah, we can. We got the hillside in between us and that stuff. Unfortunately, still didn't see any deposits. Hello, baby. Hi, I'm just uh, going to get some ammunition in this here pistol. Okay, time for the official welcome. So, uh, this is Season 1 of Imperium Galactic Survival. Ellie and I uh, were playing Alpha 7 and part of Ink Gaming. We're going to go ahead and uh, sort of relearn the game a little bit. We have absolutely mm -hmm. played before. Watch our trials and learn with us. So first things off, we got to create a faction. So I guess uh, if Dan wants to create it, then I'll ask him to let me join. Okay, faction created. While she is getting ready, I'm going to rearrange my inventory here. Apply to join Ink Gaming. Here, which owned by Dan. I'm a candidate. Soon to be a member, huh? What do you mm -hmm. guys think? Sure. Member? It's gonna happen. Maybe. The dinosaur walking over the top of me. Questionable. Okay, let's get Kelly into the faction here. There she is. We'll accept her. Woohoo! We'll now promote her, and we're going to go set our first quest up. Go ahead and do this one, which is collecting a few things, and we'll activate that. So we're supposed to collect some berries and some honey and corn dogs and stuff. Hey, Kelly. So we think there's bad stuff uh, to the west, right? Uh, yeah, it's more north. It's north. Okay. So I'll go west then. And good stuff too, but yeah, either settling down somewhere near this lake. Seems Got myself some Akua berries already. Like a plan, but you let me know where we're going to mm. settle. And, I do uh, kind of like being down by the lake if uh, bad guys are to the north. Um, mostly because I'd like to settle reasonably soon. Ooh, iron. And, and this will put something in between us and that which is a good thing works for me so maybe um, close to the water down here for our temporary lodgings i'm gonna go ahead and fuel up my Ooh, drill alien plasma work Ooh, some of this he's my favorite varan root you remember why i like varan root because you need much healing. Mm hmm Exactly. So gathering is a great way to get my skill points up. I'm already level two just from gathering a few plants here. Very nice, very nice. 
hitting some errant rocks. I don't want to go in exactly the same direction as you to begin with. I, I have not um, put oh. down my constructor yet. I don't know if you want to go ahead and choose this. Oh, you, you found the iron that I already found? I believe I did, yes. How about... Are you good with that beach there? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, drone is only 450 meters. Oh, that's uh, that's a little bit close. A it's a minigun drone. Yeah, and I don't want to mess with that. So maybe the opposite well, side of the lake. What about coming around this way? Or just the edge of the lake right here, just the uh, mm -hmm. side. I think that's fine. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Should be far enough away. Again, it doesn't have to be a permanent home. Hey, you guys have very sharp claws. So there is a um, an aggressive raptor in this game, right? Absolutely. But there's also those other ones that just wander around and ignore the you. The night raptor is aggressive. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, you can see these as well sometimes during the night. Let's see. I'm going to change up my quest real quick. I'm going to choose the huntsman. Quest is to kill these guys. you got to be careful. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, I, I guess I'll start heading back to you and put my constructor down. So we can at least get started with some kind of safe lodging. Okay, it looks like we haven't uh, attracted any baddies. This guy took a bite out of me, but not too bad. So, just got some alien parts. But you see how on my right side of my screen I got credit for that as part of the quest? Good thing. Um, I'm going to switch probably back to the wildlife. Looks like we got some plants here. Interesting. So they grow. So there's some corn and fiber, but oh, well, maybe Kelly got them. I, I may have. Oh, she's a gathering. Still haven't found any corn dogs. Gathering beast. I see. And the Kelly. corn dogs are what I need. Oh, you're Hi. A... Yeah, you're you're just going around where I've already been. So, okay. did you, did you actually put your constructor down? No, I thought you were going to put yours down. Oh, um, how, how about, about right just here? Here, yeah. This is that a nice sense. flat place where you can build relatively mm -hmm. flat. So okay. the constructors don't have to. We can put them down here a little bit, and then you can yeah, build. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm gonna place mine. Mm -hmm. uh, we will strategize, allow faction access. I'll go ahead and turn it on because they have unlimited power. Last time I checked, I'll put the ore stuff in this one. All right, so uh, food and other types of things will go in this one. So you're going to go that way. Hmm, I'll go this way. Okay, so I'll go along sort of the lake. I'm not going to go south up over the mountains, but... I'm going east. So I'm technically going southwest. Maybe I'll collect some stone and such on my way past. Really awesome to find a nice deposit or two. Good, too. So you do have to watch your stamina. Um, when you run, your stamina goes very quickly some stamina on hand for definitely need to run so I'm just gonna show you look at that isn't that pretty it's big lake uh, there's some uh, that's a base of some sort or something across the way butterflies lots of butterflies flying around there's something in here And similar to Kelly, we're looking for deposits or just stone outcroppings. There's a triceratops or two. Blueberries. Ah, there's some native tribals. 
Got their spears, a big group of five, single file. Some aura. Found a few trees. I'm using up at least one set of uh, fuel here on that. There are some mules. Those are um, they're herbivores and uh, attack them. Source of meat. No. See, we're really not finding, and we're sort of climbing the hillside, even though I said I wasn't going to, but um, I don't find much up a here. Bad spider down there. Bad spider. Okay. Oh, no. Green spiders are okay, so. So this fine. is an alien insect. That was part of the quest. We took care of one of those earlier. Pretty much nothing up here. Aha! Corn dogs! Dogs. Another alien insect. Let's get some of this dug. So these outcropping rocks, as you see, it just give me five iron ore. It's sort of random whether you get stuff and how much of the stuff you get. So but we get iron, we get silicon, there's more iron, we get copper. Um, so when you don't know the location of a big deposit of that particular resource, especially early on, you got to kind of fall back on the fact that these outcropping rocks and cross your fingers. Done. Downhill again. Mm -hmm. Wildlife. Got about five and a half minutes. Block. Actually, have to tell. Tell uh, sunset. I got some copper and some iron that time. That's a good XP for mining, in addition to gathering plants or some alien honey. Nice. I'm still looking for plant protein for that quest. So I'm sticking to the edge of the hill here because I figure on the way back I short line. Some stuff on the way out and some stuff on the way in. Hmm. So I've uh traveled to the east and there's another lake. So hmm. You can see both of them from here. Looks like a little tribal village down in the middle of our two lakes. I might see if I can venture closer. I don't see anything bad. Famous last words, of course. Uh-huh. Let's uh, slide down this hill. Oh, I could be just totally wrong, and it's just a big, huge rock instead. I need better eyesight, obviously. Okay, I think I might make it to this other lake before I need to run back. I have not found any other deposits. Aha! There we go. Very nice. We just need her to say that more often. Say that again. I have not found any other deposits. Nope. Lightning only strikes once.
I'm a little hungry here. Might have to eat some of these berries. Well, how about some corn? Maybe a corn dog. There we go. Yeah, so we've got a nice little copper deposit. But what else do we have? Ah, silicon. Very nice. So that is silicon, iron, although the iron seemed to be close to guarded. Probably deal with that. And copper. So those are three of the four elements or, or minerals that we need. Um, so what are we missing? Promethium. Very valuable uh -huh. for power. For Definitely need Promethium. So we need to figure out. Oh, it's getting a bit dark. just my luck. The silicon deposit is guarded as well. I'm just checking out this copper one to see. It's a drone. It's a minigun drone. Okay. So, second minigun drone. Okay. They're, whoops, getting a bit tired here. They're taking this stuff seriously, huh? Just have to convince natives to, you know, happen, but, you know, go deal with that. Join our faction. So, this copper deposit seems to be unguarded. Okay, wow, that's a good distance. Yeah. But, you know. So, I'm going to have to turn around and hot foot it back, I think. But, yeah, the copper is a little distance away. See, the sun is going down, and you know what happens at night? Party? Bad things come. Party. Mm-hmm. I, I, Bad parties. I firmly believe that we party at night. Seem like a good plan. Um, I would say it's a plan. I don't know if that it's a good plan uh, at nighttime, but I thought the key without dying part was a crucial part of the plan. Hmm. That's the part that I think you might fail at. Then again, you'll probably do a decent job. I live with lack of confidence mm -hmm. ability live actually I, I have a great deal of confidence in your ability to live I have not quite as much confidence in my own ability to live through these kinds of things but so I just finished the green eating quest so I'm going to go ahead and switch to the huntsman quest Ooh, drones are coming. Um, oh, really? Be too much to ask. I am hoping to find some Prometheum. That would be a my little my. bit fortuitous. So, this is, and I don't know if it's intended, or if um, it's oversight or a bug, but actually, in this alpha, they switched where some of the resources lie on which planets, and they made the four that we were talking about only deposits so copper and silicon and iron and promethium and change the tech tree and such that 
what used to be the more rare ones, now they're sort of middle tier rare ones. And one of the things that used to be common or more rare is cobalt. So there are no cobalt deposits here, and yet they're important for certain things. Yet you can still occasionally get cobalt. Um, not only can you loot it out of bases and things like that, but you can get cobalt out of boulders sometimes. So uh, that last boulder I hit, I got like six ore. So it's a way to get into that sort of middle tier element. You're supposed to. See if in the next alpha that changes. Okay, I am heading back to Constructorville. Running myself out of stamina a little bit too much there. Never a good thing. So the, the other thing you guys may um, just when you're watching is that timer is showing time till sunset. That's why the down arrow of the sun and the down arrow on the upper right. But while that's showing that, it's been staying fairly consistent. Um, and that's because I have been moving to the west. Oh look, Prometheum. Amazing. Speak of the devil. So, look at that. Sort of not real near each other, nearly half a planet away, but we've located deposits of the four critical minerals. So that's nice. And I've just obtained level three, which is also nice because that unlocks a few things that I can take some skill points in. Back at the constructors. Unfortunately, since I've been out, I haven't been able to drop off. Which will probably be guarded, knowing our luck. I'm sure they would not leave such a valuable resource unattended. But if I can get lucky enough to get some of that, then, um, you know, that'll last us for a little while. But just in case, I am going to try and hit these boulders on as well. Get some other kinds of metals, maybe. I am actually starting a base starter block. Get us some shelter going. Well, we're pretty close. I mean, 250 meters are getting in there. Normally, if there's a drone, even if it was like um, patrolling the far side, we would normally see it. So it looks like although two of the deposits that we're interested in are guarded. It looks like two may not be. Oh, so, you know, bad.
good. So I'm just eating some berries occasionally. Okay. This is a nice clear section. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. So, see these blue outlines that are below me? This is where the actual Prometheum resources are in each one of those chunks. And the reason I can see this is A, I have a drill equipped, and B, I actually have an ore scanner in my inventory. And it can be in your bar or on your inventory. Um, but if you don't have that, except for those words, I wouldn't see those, and I have to randomly dig in the dirt and hope. So, it still looks like it's going to be quite a dig down, but I don't think we're really going to have a choice, and this is going to use a lot of the fuel that we got, but some more. Just got to actually choose the right kind of mining. Now, different people mine, of course, in different ways. Um, I tend to like to create sort of it takes more fuel, but I like to create sort of a little bit more of a wider area. Sort of circle down, making it a little bit easier to get out in the end. You have the rocket pack, but it has limited jump ability. So this is generally what I try and do. Now once you get down to that level, then you can just kind of like do little tunnels. It's no problem. But... Because especially with the limited fuel, how awful would it be if uh, I dug down part way and couldn't get back out? Kelly, can you come rescue me? And then I don't have enough food. And then, you know, horrible, horrible things happen. Mm-hmm. It doesn't sound like a great idea. Right. Especially the Kelly come rescue me part. Kelly would be like, remember when you said you were going to circumnavigate the lake and, you know, you weren't going to die? Just count. Of course, I would have to say... So hopefully we're starting to get close to this, which is good because I'm almost out of this one fuel tank. There we go. So I'm pulling back. You see these blue rocks here? Those are what, oh, I just broke one. I got 10 Promethean more. Not a lot. Okay, that one gave 300 though. So oh, honestly, that is probably plenty. 300 is nice, yeah. So, and it looks like the rest of these rocks are ways down. So I'm thinking we'll probably have to settle for that. Okay. So then we can head home, even though that's going to be in the dark. Try to swing by the iron. Uh, success mission are slim, but maybe so you got to believe, right?
a market base. Uh, well, we'll call. Oh, Kelly started there, so I'm going to make it a waypoint. Mm hmm. It's there. So now it shows up as a yellow dot. Did I really? I was about to run in the wrong direction. That's how I roll. Action. So. Some people, what they do on their first day is they just keep on traveling. They keep on traveling west with the sun and uh, sort of circumnavigate so that they can uh, see what's out there, you know, sort of like a scouting mission. Since it's daylight, it's a little less dangerous. So I have been out uh, rock gathering. I'm about to head back in. Are you level three yet? I am level four. Just got level Excellent. four. Excellent. So that's probably a good enough uh, level for us to start thinking about um, who's going to be taking what in the skill tree. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on that? And while I slowly travel home. Um, well, I don't think we should be taking, there are the three different vessel types. The small vessel, the hover vessel, the capital vessel. I don't think those are our immediate needs. So I think we should instead go into the uh, weapons, tools, and perhaps the base building. Okay. I am. I'm happy to do that. Um, are you going to be building the base for the most part? I yeah. I think I will. I enjoy the building. So why don't I focus on that tree mostly? Okay, well, I'll try and pick up weapons and at least uh, some of the tools. Mm -hmm. and probably start to look at SVs. Okay. Get a little ship going. Yes, that will be a while, but... See now, folks, it's getting dark because I'm going... So I'm going to turn on my little shoulder light here. Your shoulder light. Okay, so uh, get into my skill tree here. Um, so in the base, the immediate things I could take are things like the fuel tank, which help us with our power needs. A small generator, also useful. Um, sentry gun. I don't think we're in immediate danger right now. Here, cannon turret, fridge, maybe the fridge. Okay, tools. So how about I take the multi-tool? Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Taking that, I'm going to leave the weapons to you. Okay. I'm going to also take this uh, cargo box so I can get one put down in our base. And I might take some of these uh, power scenarios right here. Wow, this is an incredibly big beach. Northwest side. You can actually see map all the yellow that is the uh, sand. Um, pretty impressive because uh, it's pretty freaking flat. 
What's nice about this game for building is um, with uh, drills and things like that, you can kind of do terraforming. I shouldn't say kind of, you can absolutely do terraforming. So it's certainly not the end of the world. There are some games, um, one that has dinosaurs where terraforming is pretty much impossible. Instead, you sort of just build multiple levels or, you know, create a flat situation. But here, while this is nice, we could start building here. It would require almost no terraforming. You could build up over on that hillside and just eventually sort of flatten it. All it takes is time and fuel. So, as you can see... Oh, I just ah. uh, said that was. Uh, the outpost is bad boys, as in uh, enemies. Okay. So, and that seems to be actually where the drone is. But, unfortunately, going for that iron will probably put us within 300 meters of the outpost. Which may be close enough for any guns on the outpost to fire. And will definitely probably attract the drone. Now... Let me just hurry back to the base while Kelly works. I'm just loading up this uh, constructor here and putting on See the a few different things. So, crushed stone. For me at this and... point. You have to be wary of this drone that is definitely closed. As you can see, though, I've closed on the outpost just by going this way, so. Don't see any gunfire? That's good. I don't remember what the range is. Apparently, just over 400 meters is okay. Also, it depends on which side, if any, that they have the gun emplacements. For some reason, they only had gun emplacements on the other side, then they wouldn't be able to shoot at me anyway. So I am coming home, hopefully to. Um, right, yeah, welcome. Uh, Steak dinner. I'd, I'd say I'd cook you a meal, but unfortunately, I have a lot of berries and corn waiting for you. Corn dogs, corn dogs. There you go. Someone took those dogs and pickled them. I did make a little bit more ammunition. Uh, not not a ton, but a little bit. So. Got a nice clear view of that outpost. Ah, there's the uh, tail end of that destroyed ship. Talking about earlier. Oh look, it's a slime. We probably should put that on our way home. Part of our quest. Got to look around, see what else is here. The natives don't like it when you kill um, native life. Right. Well, I did not actually manage to find a lot of stone when I was traveling around. So I did not make a lot of concrete blocks, which is what I am using to build this platform of awesome. I am about 150 meters out, and I will get some resources. Including Promethium, which will be things that we can uh, get into the multi chart multi tool units. So, like multi tools. Look, Kelly got a pet. Well, 
This is like a high traffic zone. You know, everyone keeps walking past. I'm walking past. Oh, you. Mm mm. Put all these in here. Hopefully, some of that will rot away. We're going to go ahead and turn that meat into a salami. That in there, and that in there, and that in there, and that in there. So, now for Kelly, look at this. We got ooh, iron ore and silicon and crushed stone and copper and cobalt and promethium. Nice. Okay. So, we're going to work on probably in the next episode, we're going to work on turning these into uh, bars and. Kelly's going to make some more concrete blocks, and we'll work mm -hmm. on expanding this house for the Triceratops. Right? Yep. That's that's my goal. Next time, we'll be expanding the Triceratops home. That's what everybody wanted to hear. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.